What is it that makes people choose one car over another? Everyone has different practical needs, but does everything come down to mere functionality? Of course not. As anyone would know, when that deep twang of desire wells up as you stare a stylish performance car in the face. Mike Kirtley set out to discover how important functionality and stylishness are for people. I thought it was important to, to judge how people perceive different types of products. So I got them to look at pictures of you know, very functional functional things like Concord and paper clips and that kind of thing um, and see how they perceive that the style of that and if they if they find them attractive if they find that aesthetic you know a, a good thing and also to contrast that to look at very stylish things like a Philippe Stark uh, lemon juicer which is very stylized but doesn't necessarily look so functional it was very interesting to see how they um how it varied between certain certain products like like the juicer that is very stylized and yet it was still perceived as very functional, although in reality it's, it's maybe not as functional as, as it could be. Mike's research discovered that vehicles could be designed between two extremes, those very stylish but low in functionality, and those very high in functionality but with questionable styling, like the Fiat Multipla. The Fiat Multipla, I mean, it's... It, it, it's a very functional form, it has a lot of function inside it, and yet it has a very kind of interesting and challenging aesthetic. Um, whether that was deliberate or not, I don't know, but it does, does have a functional feel through its volume and all that kind of things. Uh, Vauxhall Sephira, um, it, it's, got very, you know, it's got very revolutionary seat systems and it offers a lot of diversity, which you know, that, that helps the user in everyday life. Um, Less functional cars is, is a lot more difficult because I think a car wouldn't make it into production if it wasn't if it wasn't functional. Um, I guess Lamborghinis and Ferraris are less functional. They 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 offer less. They they're much they're much more much more selective in, in what they what they achieve. And when it comes to the award-winning Audi TT, the styling and looks are astonishing. But is that practical? My opinion of the, the CT is that, yeah, it, it is lacking in fundamental function because it is very small, two seats. It has back seats, but you know, they're tiny. You can't do anything with them. Um, and yet, it does have that very Bauhaus, very German-looking styling, which, which is functional. It does look functional. It looks like it'll do what it's supposed to do and do it very well. It's a very confident-looking car. Mike's concept car, designed after his research, ended up aimed at Audi. And obviously, being an Audi, it needed to be dynamic. It needed to, to have that special something. They, they are Germanic, but they, they do have that extra something. And proportion was my way of doing that. So the model especially is very, had, does have exaggerated proportion. Neat machine, but would Audi consider his idea? Currently, they don't have anything of this kind of scale. Um, I'd like to think they'd consider it, but we'll see. Of course, these young people could be the top car designers of the future. And an exhibition like this is often frequented by established stars of automotive creativity. So what do they think of the up-and-coming designers? It's very difficult to assess very quickly when you walk into a design show. Um, without spending a lot of time. Because, um, in, in fact, if, if I'm being honest, most design shows look very similar, and you've actually got to spend some time talking to the people and understanding where they're coming from in terms of the designs, rather than just superficially just glancing uh, past. But um, I've noticed that there are, there, are, there are one or two very good people, and uh, a couple of people that I've spoken to um, are coming from design in a slightly different perspective, which I think is quite is very important. I think there's um, there's a sort of there's a freshness without naivety. That's what's what I really like about this. There's sort of a, there's a sophistication in some of this stuff, which has uh, opened my eyes. Quite frankly, it's really good. It's very good indeed.